All right, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my diesel D19. This originally had a gas engine in it. Um, got an engine out of a Gleaner Combine. I can't remember the number, I think like an F3 or something like that. Um, but essentially that's a 433 TI uh, Alice Chalmers engine. Uh, they put them in 6080s. Very fuel efficient little engine, 95 horse. Um, main thing we had to do to make that engine fit, if you look down here, we actually had to take some rails, um, raise it up, I think it was like four and three eighths inch or something like that, some weird measurement like that. However, however wide the rail is there, basically I had to raise that up, weld that on there. Maybe not the best looking weld, but God, that's some strong weld there. Um, had to change the steering a little bit on there, get the, all that to fit, just extend it down, you know, and instead of running through the, the tube there, I had to bring it down and run it down so that it was more straight. That all works good. Had to drop this. Main reason we had to raise it was because of how much lower this engine sit. Um, you know, this rail, you know, actually would bolt up here. We just had to make an extension there, you know, and then make the same extension up here. Drop all that stuff down. That gave us room for the power steering to go in there. It looks really tight on this side. It's not as tight as it looks. Need new tie rod ends. Poor thing, doesn't steer for crap but that's a little bit future project got some new tires on there this year definitely made it look nice made it steer nice in the field too and back here we got 18 fours um, this is actually a project uh, 190 XT that we have uh, third gear locked up put a new rear end on it and we got new tires with it so these are our old tires off of that tractor and then also with that 190 XT rear end we got an extra three-point hitch Functional. Functional. Isn't that something? Rebuilt the seat on it. The seat's really nice and comfy. Need new light back here. I just got the hoods on it. Uh, they're not finished yet. Don't judge me on my hoods. Because they look like crap right now. Get that turbo sticking out there as if you look. My brother's a fabricator, welder. Um, basically, he's going to make it look good with this piece of pipe right here. If you can just imagine that piece of pipe around coming over, and then there will be another one. Um, about here-ish coming up. For, I'm not quite sure how he's going to do it, but it'll look better than it does, I can tell you that much. Um, this we had to change a couple of little brackets for the power steering pump. Well, I had to make a bracket for the power steering pump. Either pulley off a Chevy 350. D19 radiator. Um, it's actually a gallon more capacity than what the 6080s would have had on it. So this that tractor actually stays nice and cool. It was one of my main concerns with building this thing was if I had enough radiator capacity and after doing some research I found out that I did. Um, let's see here, what else can I talk about this thing? Um, there will be a live hydraulic pump mounted here. Um, we just we have not made it that far yet. Um, we've got a couple of different pumps, and we just we haven't decided exactly how we're going to do it. Uh, my brother's got an idea of putting one down in here so that it would be here, um, but we just we haven't made it that far yet. We've got a couple of different pumps that we want to experiment with, and. Uh, 
honestly, I haven't used it for anything that I've needed the live hydraulics. A couple of things that would have came handy, but um, planting corn and stuff, you know, I mean, you got you got the hand torque there, so you can make yourself live hydraulics for the, at this point. <clears throat> as long as you remember to pull that torque instead of push the clutch in. Uh, what else? I, yeah, I don't know much else to talk about. If you guys got any questions on anything, uh, send me a message. Um, I guess one question I might have for you guys, uh, if you're watching this, you're probably interested in this type of stuff and know some things. I, uh, I've got this here Delco Remy. It's out of a Ford. Uh, let me see if I can get this to... Okay. Here's my numbers. What I need to know about this thing, I have a Summit Racing... Oh, it's awfully dirty. My power washer broke. Believe me, I don't keep these tractors this dirty. <laughs> Waiting for my power washer to come back. Um, Stuart Warner, blah, blah, this tack. I need to know how many poles are in my alternator. I, I can't find any information. Um, I've actually gone as far as calling Delco Remy, and they couldn't even help me. Um, if any of you uh, alternator guru gurus out there have any information for me I would appreciate it um, that's that's my last step right there there's the tack wire I just I can't figure out how many poles are in that to set my tack right to set the dip switches on there so any help with that would be appreciated um, oh here's here's a little bit of this plate is actually off of a 190 um, 190 XT um, I think I had to drill two holes in this plate to get it to fit on this yep two holes to get it to fit on here um, then the clutch inside of here clutch and flywheel is also off of a 190 XT um, had to shave a little bit out of the uh, bell housing here to get that clutch to fit in to get that what was happening was the uh, you know the adjuster pins the adjuster bolts for the clutch itself the clutch plate was just rubbing when you would turn it over you hear click 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 oh, okay what the heck's that so took it apart it took me about three times to get it shaved out enough to to work again but now we got help fits in there like it was supposed to really what else uh, my custom made steps over here. Talk a little bit about those. Them are, I'm awfully proud of these. I uh, gotta put a latch on it so that holds up. Do row cropping with it. I, uh, I plan on running this with a rotary hoe, so I needed that to be up higher than my corn was going to be. Yeah, other than that, I uh, I don't know what else to talk about. Um, this is a diesel air filter, diesel D19 air filter. I don't know. Just a little bit bigger capacity. Uh, basically, I had to put that there where the battery box goes, which kind of led me uh, a little bit farther to building this thing because I needed a place for the battery. I did drive around with it up here on the original platform and that guy, that, that was just terrible. And then getting on and off of this thing, it's a 33 inch step up here. With these rear tires on it, front end lifted up, it was one heck of a step. And had knee surgery a few years back and my knee appreciates them steps, let me tell you. Another funny thing, you see that oil spill? Changed oil in it the other day. You see that right there? Well, well, I didn't pay attention last night when I put that back on there. My copper ring is in this right here. So I guess that's my first project for today is finding my copper ring. 
drain all the oil out and take care of that dumb mistake. But anyway, uh, I guess that's about it, guys. Um, throttle was about the hardest thing to figure out, tell you the truth. Which, that's just kind of Jimmy rigged on there, but it does work. Worked like it was supposed to be there, so. Like I said, you got any questions, let me know. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed my tractor.